Well, we do have a few errands to run today. I got coffee and had to print off a tax document, but my main goal is to ask the Frenchies their thoughts on uh, what to expect from the Olympics. I think they've got a pretty spicy take, just from our little conversation that we were having. They don't plan to be here at all, and, uh, well, I'll let them speak for themselves. The other thing I wanted to do was check out another church that's been out of commission for a while, Trinity, one of my favorite churches in town that I've missed for a long time. So we'll do both, coffee with les Frenchies, Olympics chat, and, uh, and church investigations. Unfortunately, the church part means we're gonna have to leave poor little Cooper behind. He'll have a great time on his little self zone. But as we're back to drop Cooper off, I did just get news that we can start the pre-sale. Got really, we were very excited to launch this last week and then we found some technical problems and I, you know, I opted to, to pause because I wanna make sure you have the best experience possible. Store.parismypocket.com. If you've seen these shirts, if you'd like to grab one, if you want the inside joke, if you just like them, if you'd like to carry a little bit of Paris around with you in your pocket, then go to store.parismypocket.com. This is a three week pre-sale. We need to put an order together because believe it or not, these are really hard to make. The pockets are hand stitched on. You can go, I'll, there's a video about the whole story behind it, but it took me about two years to figure out how to actually make this happen. Which is why I'm really excited that they're finally going to exist. If there's something that you would really enjoy, please go grab one or two or three. We'll be throwing stickers in there for you as well, just as a thank you. The pre-sale will go for three weeks. We'll send the order in and then you'll get an email letting you know when that's gone through and then shipping information when it comes your way. So yeah, we can talk more about this over the next three weeks, but I just wanted to let you know, it's starting right now. As you've seen the video, you can go. Patrons, you're seeing this a day early, you can also go, it's available to everybody. <sighs> and with that, let's go talk about the Olympics and what to expect and how some people might be handling it different than others. I'm gonna need a second microphone for this. And I'm gonna want my sweatshirt too. Is this a sweatshirt or a sweater? Let's go, let's get out of here. Okay. This is genuinely exciting. They, they've already started, they've started taking down the scaffolding. Like I was hoping with the whole anti-scaffolding thing in Paris for the Olympics. That, oh, I haven't seen that spire in a long time. I don't know if you get excited about architecture in churches, but uh. Okay, well let's go to coffee first because we're like running a little bit late. Let's see if Antoine wants to join us. Man, just this is satisfying on its own. They're still working on it. Look, you can see dudes scaling the, their, I don't know what they're doing up there, but I'm jealous. I want to get up there. I forgot that the top was domed. Like, I forgot what this place looked like. It's been under scaffolding, I, I want to say for like five years, maybe longer, but it looks, oh man, it looks so good. What else are we going to see for the first time in forever? All right, time to double check the one coffee shop in the neighborhood. I think the, what, there's probably a couple more down here somewhere, but. Thanks to today's patient producer, Chris Hawley, for sending us out. Chris, I hope you're already a fan of this guy, but if you're not, now you will be. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Antoine was asking me why sometimes I hold my microphone like this. I'm not going to tell you why, but... It's red. I don't know if it's worked. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. It's a general th uh, generational thing. I guess so. You guys all hold a microphone like that. And so I'm inducting and I'm, you. And I'm, I have the urge of I know. Can I clip mine? I'm, no, I'm inducting you into the club. You got to hold it. <laughs> you got to hold it. Okay. So I was going to, uh, I think it's really interesting because Antoine's not, at least it sounds like you're not going to be here for the Olympics. No, I'm not. You want to get out of town. Um, we, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. What's your take on it? Because you also were saying a lot of your audience isn't going to be here. No, I, it's I, well, actually what happened is I was talking with a, a guide yeah. in Paris and he was telling me that he was shutting down for the Olympics. And I'm like, what do you mean you're shutting down for the Olympics? Entirely? Like, yeah, you're like your tour guide. Like, I mean, it's going to be the year of the year. And he says, no, everything is sold out. Yeah. Like all the vehicles are gone, the, the limos, the buses, like there's nothing's available. The hotels are sold out. All the venues are bought out by corporate entities. And it's going to be really difficult to get in and out of Paris. Yeah. So they're basically saying, no, we're shutting down. Mm -hmm. We're going in the south of France and we'll do other things. And I was like, oh, that's that's interesting. And, and, and yeah. the, the real thing is it's a corporate audience. 500 bucks a seat. Yeah. Your room rates is three three to four times more expensive. Yeah. So it's not people like me and you that are, are going to be enjoying it. It's corporate people that actually are coming on the dime of Microsoft, Nike, all those big brands. Yeah. And they'll enjoy that, but it, it's not you and me. In our ecosystem, you know, like all the people that are we're engaging with, they're actually asking how the Olympics are going to affect Paris in June yeah. and early July, but there's none of them then saying, hey, what's happening during the Olympics? So th what yeah. I'm getting is like, they're not gonna be here. They're gonna be here in June 
and then ah, in September. I was curious how you were figuring that out. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm curious, I leave in the comments below actually. I know a lot of people are skipping because of it, because there are a lot of comments that I have gotten where they're like, there, I'm not coming, there's yeah. no way I would ever be there. That's sad because to me it feels inaccessible, which Absolutely. is unfortunate because it does feel like, well, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to have the Olympics in Paris. I was actually really looking forward to it. What changed the your mind? Was this the corporate, the corporatization of it or? Yes, there's a little bit of that, but then there's also, you know, they're gonna have six million people in Paris. You know, yeah, six million wow. people in a city of two million people, yeah. right? It's going to be the the restrictions where, you know, what we're not foreseeing is that, you know, there's going to be places where you're going to have to open up your bag. Like yeah. where are streets that you and I are used to walking through and they'll say, you got to open up your bag. Yeah. Where are you going? You know, your camera, you're not going to be able to have your regular stuff. Everything is going to be outrageously expensive. And ultimately it's, yeah, I think it's going to be a cluster bundle. Like people will say, how do you think Paris is going to be during the Olympics? It's like, well, the French are really good at wine, food, architecture. Efficiency is not one of them. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and I said that with all my love, and I'm French, right? They're not efficient at all. So I don't know. Uh, maybe they'll pull it off, and I know. Yeah. Like, let's just say they'll, they're, it's going to be great. Well, like I if hope you're coming so. to the Olympics, it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be fun, and I'm not an advocate. Like. Nobody's paying me. I'm just being an optimist. I, right. I, I do think that the French do also have a tendency to pull things off in the last minute pretty well. And they do do some large events very well. The big drawbacks for me are like the extra that yeah, the extra security. Not being able to even go into certain parts of the city that we normally would be able well, to. Well, I, I think all the center, I mean, if you think about it, the Trocadero, the Eiffel Tower, Place de la Concorde, yeah. all Le Louvre, Les Tuileries, Rue de Rivoli, uh, Hotel de Ville, Notre Dame, Oh, this is going to be completely closed off. Yeah. Like they will need to know who's coming in and yeah. who's going out, which is all the center of attractions. Yeah. And of course they will have a security that is going to be, you know, uh, at the, the highest level in order to provide uh, a, a safety environment for people who are coming in. So it's going to be great for people that are here during the Olympics. But for people like you and I just, you know, going to the cafe and I mean, I don't even, I mean, here it's probably going to be wide open, but there's going to be some places where it's not going to be fun. I'm definitely going to dig deeper into like what's going to be closed. I really want to understand it and share it, but I th people ask me all the time yeah. and we're here. Yeah. This is, how is it going to be? I'm like, I, I don't know. We don't know. We can't know. I don't know. We're Nobody going to find knows. out. No, we're going to find out. The way that I'm looking at it is it's going to be, it is going to be annoying. There are going to be parts of it that are yeah. frustrating, but it's also a once in a lifetime event that at least everybody that has been in cities that have had the Olympics that have left comments, whether I was Atlanta or London or, you know, they've, they've had a great time. Like the vibe is really good during the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a trade off. I think you, you definitely are going to trade off some freedom of movement, some frustrating moments, some extra, like definitely the cost of a lot of things will go up. But especially for those of us that live here and anybody that can afford to come during that time, my hope is, and I'm going to maintain this hope, I'm really hopeful that it's gonna be like a really positive, like fun, like party vibe, that everybody's just having a great time. That's my hope. No, I, I think so. I think it's gonna be an extraordinary event. I think it's gonna be unique in the settings, but there is the, the difference into watching it on your TV and having that experience and actually being here. We don't live in the city, yeah. right? So for us, it's actually, we, we're outside the city, we're near Chantilly, so it's it's already close to an hour to get to the city. Yeah. So on top of that, we're adding all the aggravations. We were actually really looking forward to it. The closer we're getting to the event, we thought that it was probably not going to be what we thought it would be. Yeah. It's great. So I think it's going to be amazing for anyone that is within a corporate group where uh, transportation and activities and everything is taken care of. Yeah. But for the regular Joe like you and I that's trying to try to navigate, that's going to be a little bit more annoying. It might get more frustrating than I imagine. Right. I mean, it's like, it's, think about the opening ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I was thinking about that, right? So how extraordinary it is going to be that the opening ceremony is going to be on the Seine River. They have 140 barges that are going to go from Bercy and I'm going to go all the way to the Eiffel Tower. And then so that you're thinking of that, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing, right? Yeah. And then they're saying, yeah, and there's going to be 2 million people in Paris watching it yeah. live. And then you're like thinking, oh, okay, got it. So like, no, <laughs> yeah. no, I don't want to be anywhere near that. You know, I mean, unless you're in the balcony from a building and you can see it live, yeah. that would be an extraordinary experience. But 
Can you imagine trying to get find your way no. to... I really wanted tickets to it so I could actually have a seat where I could see things, but... No, there, there's, when, it's 2,500 bucks. That's the... There's 27. Yeah. When I was like, I was 2,700 <laughs> yeah, euros, so and like, I was like, no, I can't. So I'm like, hey, Colleen, what do you think? Like 5,400, you and me, baby, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, she, and Colleen was like, well, if they buy me a ticket, I'll go. But I'm like, well, I Yeah, exactly. I, if somebody out there it works for the Olympic Committee and wants to bring us, we'll show up. Yes, uh, we will. I will happily go. You when have a, saw, a YouTube team here, <laughs> the Frenchies and Jay. <laughs> which, speaking of which, I, I said this before, but if you don't follow the Frenchies, and also, like, if you're coming, apparently, clearly, if you're not coming for the Olympics, but anytime you're coming, you should check them out. They've got tons of great information about visiting Paris. I think it's probably, I think you guys might have the most comprehensive YouTube channel on how to visit Paris. Yeah, out there. Well, that, that was the intent. So we're. Uh, I think you're. you're we're you're, we're you achieving that. Uh, I think you've achieved goal. it. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to go give them a follow. Check them out, and then leave a comment and just say that you enjoyed our chat under the scaffolding church. We'll come back and check this out. But uh, I think they're going to remove the scaffolding for the Olympics. The restoration won't be done until 2027, according to the sign over there. But we'll come check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Did you get like, did your wrist start hurting holding it? No, like that? no, no. Everything's all right? I was going to clip it eventually. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> are you going to start doing it this way now from now on? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs>